The great Maya Angelou once said, when people show you who they are, believe them. This is true in love and politics and in the NBA, where the playoffs begin in less than six weeks. Or in other words, forget what it says on your favorite team's Tinder profile. At this point in the regular season, we've all seen enough to know whether I like sunsets and long walks on the beach really actually means I am prone to superstar temper tantrums and falling apart on defense. And this can be true in either direction. Take Houston, which has won five straight. Just yesterday, the Rockets built up a 28-point lead against Boston, squandered a big chunk of it, but then held its ground defensively in a way that, yes, showed us who they are. A team that has weathered some injuries and some early roster mistakes to become, in James Harden's own words, a group where guys know their roles, we're executing defensively, we're helping each other, we're talking. The Celtics, meanwhile, <laughs> they've shown us plenty, too. All season, we have hemmed and hawed over whether Boston will get it together, but the truth is who they actually are is a group of deeply talented individuals who have struggled to function as a team. They are 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games, and yesterday's loss included Brad Stevens calling a timeout a whopping 55 seconds into the second half. What followed was second-year reserve Semi Ogilvy, of all people, chastising his teammates to wake the blank up. That's what he yelled in the huddle. Ogilvy would later tell the athletic, quote, I don't normally do that, but I kind of felt we were splitting a part. He said, I mean, the season's wasting away. Meanwhile, in other cities around the East, we see other teams solidifying their identities. The Pistons have won 10 of their last 13, including beating Toronto in overtime last night. A and the Magic? Well, despite last night's loss to Cleveland on one of those Sega Babas, they are sitting <laughs> in the eighth seed. They haven't been that high in the standings in March since 2012, and Coach Steve Clifford should get a lot of credit for instilling that whole, we might not be the league's most talented team, but we can sure fight like hell cultures. Since the start of 2019, since January 1st, Orlando is playing the second best defense in the league. So that's who they're showing us they are now. Why are you looking at Donovan Mitchell? Well, as for the West, here come the Jazz. Donovan was just sensational on Saturday night, scoring a career-high 46 points. The Jazz have had to deal with a front-loaded schedule the past few seasons, and each time it's caused them trouble, right? But the benefit is clearly the role they tend to get on in the second half. You know, the website 538 has these guys projected to win 19 of their remaining wow. 20 games, mm. which is crazy, but when you look at their schedule, it's completely possible. And what about the bottom of the West playoff race? Well, the Kings have lost five of their last six, and while things should improve a little with the Knicks coming to town tonight, um, what Sacramento may be showing us is that they are talented and fun, but perhaps still too inexperienced to be a playoff team. The Clippers, on the other hand, are showing us that they are made of grit, even as the team they share an arena with is showing us yet again they are not. Yes, as you are all well aware, this weekend the Lakers fell apart completely in a loss to the Suns. Yet another team that actually needs to lose to maintain its draft position. I'm going to keep pointing out that if the Lakers could have just won the very easiest games on their schedule this season, games against the Suns, the Knicks, the Cavs, the Grizzlies, the Pelicans, they'd be safely tucked into a playoff seed. But they haven't won those games. They're not currently a playoff team. And well, when someone shows you who they are, you need to believe them.